Welcome to IoT International's first video in a series of web videos explaining our Internet of Things software suite. We call it Riot Technology, Real-Time Internet of Things. This video will cover launching our engine and connecting to our engine with our Explorer tool to help configure the engine. Please keep in mind that these pieces of software can be downloaded for free at www.riotskyview.com and will work in demo mode for two hours at a time without a license. So please feel free, download it, and, and get a project started, and call us when you're ready to take it live, and we can license it and get it going for you. So now to get started, um, you will have downloaded both the Riot exe and the riot explorer and install them on your on your device whether that's a, a edge computing device whether that's your laptop or or a server somewhere so you launch the the, the riot exe and it starts running into the background and uh, the next piece that you need to do is launch the riot explorer once the riot explorer launches you will either connect to an existing project open an existing project that you've already built or or do a new project we're going to start with a new project today and we will go into our folder create a brand new folder call it demo number one select that folder and we'll call the project demo number one once you've done that the Explorer launches <clears throat> you are not yet connected to the engine but at this point you have created a configuration file so over on the left hand side here you'll see that the name of your project demo number one has populated in the tool and if we clicked on our our plus button we can see all the all the different capabilities that we have available device clients are ways for the engine to take data into it it comes here uh, listed out with just a few but we have many many ways to ingest data OPC, Modbus, Modbus RTU, DNP3, there's a whole list of them, including a simulation tool, which we'll use in just a couple of minutes. There are device servers. This is where we want to send the data. And again, we can add many, many ways to send data to different places, databases, SCADA systems. Um, the one place that we will want to send it in a little bit is our Riot Skyview platform, which we can talk about as well. Uh, we can create event criteria. This is when we want to send that data. Once we've got data coming in, we get to put a rules engine in place to say when we want to send it, whether it's you know once a minute, when it's a greater than or less than a value, equal to a value, some other some other way. We've got the ability to create C sharp scripting within the tool. We can build C sharp scripting um, libraries to call up APIs and different things. If you want to build your own custom interfaces, please feel free to do that. And then lastly, we have stream mapping groups. When we take the data in and we can send this data to multiple places, we can map those groups. Um, we can map that data to where it needs to go. So very quickly, I'm going to go back up to my project and highlight it and I'm going to connect to the engine <clears throat> so the engine is loaded on my local machine if it were not then I would type in the IP address of the machine that it was connected to on, on my network in this case I am is connected to the local machine so I'm going to connect the local host and you see You can see now that I've connected to the local host <clears throat> without my two hour time period running out. And as we were going to um, 
add devices, whether it would be a Modbus device, an OPC device, if we were going to add scripting, we would right-click on whatever piece of information we we're trying to get in, GPS. But in this case, we're going to create some simulation data. I've got to disconnect while I do that. So we're going to add um, a PLC device. And under that PLC device, we're going to add some streams. We'll add some ramp values. We're going to add some random values. And we're going to add some step values. And we'll make that 0, 1, back and forth, like it went off. We connect back to that device. We download the configuration. We've changed it. We've added a PLC. We've added some things. We download that configuration to our engine so it continues to run that. And we will see here that as we go along here, we have now added this in and it is got some time and date stamps on it. We've now effectively started our engine.